Good morning, Martin in the Philippines, and we're here in Real Talk Lifeline. So let's get right into it. Challenge of the day. Challenge of the day. Pursuing my passions and overcoming my fears and insecurities. So let me just share, you know, based on my personal experience. People in the live right now and in the chat, feel free to comment below if you're watching the replay. Feel free to share your experiences too, related to pursuing your passions and overcoming your fears and insecurities. So, off the bat, this is this is a pure coincidence. Uh, I just noticed the shirt I'm wearing right now. It's it's when I went to do skydiving here in in the Philippines. So it was in Cebu. I believe Bantayan Island area. So I went with a friend. It was a bucket list thing. And I did it. Like I just I just went for it. Promo, took a flight, enjoyed the experience. Super worth it. So why am I sharing that? You could do that to take a first step into your passions. Now passions you know, it could be something crazy like that. I'm not telling you you have to go skydiving. You could start, you know, a little more sane or steady. So I'm going to quickly show this. Uh, you could do something. I've shown this a few times. It's called a dream board. Some people have their own vision board. So there you go. Related to passions... You could just see some stuff at the top. Um, I got into motorcycles back in 2014. Upper right, you could go for traveling. Some people, they have different dreams or, or passions they're into, as you can see. So let's go back. Now, the big challenge, just based on my personal experience, and you could test it yourself and, and see what works for you. The biggest challenge in pursuing my passions was actually, it's related to the challenge of the day. It's related to overcoming my fears and insecurities before I even step forward into pursuing the passion. So there are certain things that I've been through that, that helped me take that leap of faith, as, as you could say. So it, it starts with overcoming fear. Now, I'm not telling you to, let's see if I could share this quick. I'm not telling you to go break an arrow using your throat, like in a seminar, which I've done, as, as you can see. So, you can do little things. One thing, just to make it very real and immediate right now, just so you get, get something like that. Going on this live, this is actually an example of me overcoming my fear. I could just put it off. I could say, hey, I'm, I'm not feeling or looking too good today. I'm just in a shirt. Uh, my hair is a little messed up. But then doing this is overcoming my fear as well. You could do little things like that. It doesn't have to be that grand. Uh, do li some little thing that scares you today. And then that will give you one small rep or proof that you could actually do the next thing. Insecurities. One of the biggest things about insecurities also is I'm learning is it's more of awareness. And again, I'm just sharing. This might work for you. Some people in the chat, please share also what has worked for you on overcoming your fears and your insecurities. Insecurities. One thing I started trying to do was, first thing was I just started admitting them more. So, like I see a piece of white hair over here in my my face, I'll just say it, you know, I'll just admit that uh, this year, my money in the bank could run out if business doesn't do well, um, if I don't think of something, get creative, so financially... I could feel insecure, I'll, I'll just say it, I'll just admit it. From there, we can actually start to acknowledge where I'm at 
and then see where I can go from there. Now, if you want to pursue passions or try things yourself, you could start with that. And then I started writing down a dream board back in 2015 when I was asked to do that. And my manager for work just said, hey, make this dream board. What are your dreams? My answer was, I, I don't know. I didn't have any dreams back then. That was the most painful part. So the first thing is overcoming the fear. Do something very small, just like showing up. I'm doing a Facebook Live right now. So I'm scared. This is scary for me. Uh, someone went live viewing it and then went off. So that's correlated to insecurities. But hey, I'm still doing it anyway. So you could start small. Start with something like that. So that's my quick sharing for the challenge of the day. People in the chat, people watching this replay, feel free to share your own experience. Again, on pursuing your passions and then overcoming your fears and insecurities. What has helped you? Maybe it will also help me and some other people as well over here. Last thing, comment deep dive down below if you want that last free deep dive call. Deep dive is it's going to be safe. It's a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me. You could share what is your greatest challenge or problem right now in life. I will listen to your side and then we're going to share, hopefully get some answers to that. If you just feel like sharing and you don't want any answers, that's fine as well. That's cool. So thank you. I love you and I will see you next time.